So for this solo, um, this one was kind of structured. I wouldn't say it was completely structured. So I, I, I played through it, well, blew through it a couple of times with Jacob Bunton, my producer, on this album. And, um, and then we went back and I was like, you know, I could really add a few parts and then repeat them to make it, you know, more sort of uh, a melody part there. And um, so we started off here, so um, we started off. It's very pentatonic again. Um, then, anyway. and because I've got the drop D, you don't want to hit that when you're soloing it, especially live. Um, when I actually cut the solo on the record, I had my guitar completely tuned normal. Um, but uh, when I play it live, I got to avoid that string. Oh, that's going to sound weird. So going up, you know. So I do a lot of that, um, these voicings, um, which is kind of strange. I know where I picked it up from. I just kind of, when I'm sitting around with my guitar at night time, I'm always trying to come up with different things. And I'm, I'm always doing this thing where it's kind of like that. When it comes to this part, the solo part, um, I like to come up with different things, um, voicings and whatnot. So this part, like, um, it's pretty much very pentatonic in the solo. And then, uh, and it just adds an element of difference and something that just sounds kind of cool, you know. So I'm always doing those different slides a lot in my solos. And you probably notice when you see me live, I'm doing a lot of that and, and, uh, and the bending part, like, so yeah, they're, they're kind of um, unique parts of the solo, I guess, in a way. <laughs> so they're fun. They're fun things to sort of play, and um, especially the the slides and whatnot. Um, and that solo is pretty much based around like the you know D sort of pentatonic. Mode. Yeah. So with this pentatonic run um, for the end of the solo, end of light up solo, um, I'm just going. <laughs> I always do that, like lots of slides in my um, in my runs. So, and I'm not picking the whole thing. You know, I'm, I'm using my fingers as well. So, kind of alternate picking there. But if you're used to using a pick, you can pick the whole thing too. Um, it's just how I play. So when it comes to um, you know, me soloing and, and playing a bunch of fast runs or whatever. I do a lot of sliding, um, which is like. So it's like very like, um, you know, you go. Which is, I don't know, I get kind of used to doing that stuff. Um, I don't know, it's interesting. It makes it sound different. And when I'm just sitting around messing around with my guitar and coming up with stuff in the studio or at home, um, you know, I don't have to play like kind of normal things. And one of my other influences is Steve Vai. He does it a lot. And it's really cool. You know, I just really dig it. But I do do a lot of like sliding opposed to just that and, and hammering on it like. And I don't know, it's, it's really, I'm a blues bass player, so I just really dig that kind of like vibe where you go like. It just has that kind of, I don't know, that swampiness to it. And I always like doing that kind of stuff. So most of my solos will have a lot of sliding. 